What we doing today? Well, got to make her bite. Um, brother's race sled. Did some racing a couple weeks ago. Getting ready to head to another race tomorrow. Um, just going to touch up the studs. We are fortunate enough to be partnered up with Woody's Traction. Um, they make awesome products. I've ran... Mostly Woody's, in my experience, studding tracks. I've, I've ran some Stud Boy stuff before, and they're, they're a fine stud, but Woody's does an awesome thing where they are uh, helping folks like me out um, through racer support programs, and uh, you know they've helped me in the last couple of years, and they make the best runners. Uh, we run long carbide runners um, for racing on the ice and they make the best ends in the business for that and they make damn good studs too they also make stud sharpening tools so um, you can keep your stuff hooking up tight make it bite um, this particular sled we're running just steel ice picks some 30 degree picks so you gotta sharpen them up pretty often to keep them keep a good tip on them. Uh, Woody's makes a nice tool for sharpening them up. You just run it in your cordless drill. It goes pretty fast. Um, they make a 30 degree and a 60 degree in that. We also partnered up with, with Bite Harder. Bite Harder is another um, traction, I guess, company. They, they uh, sell a few different products, one of which we used um, on my other sled, my other sled I'm running some carbide tip studs. Those are a little harder to sharpen. Um, but they got a they got a stud sharpening tool that works pretty well um, when it comes to carbide stuff. I'd love to find a carbide sharpening tool that works like this Woody's one does for steel where you just um, zip right along sharpening your studs up. I haven't come across anything yet. If anybody knows of anything that's out there, please reach out and let me know. Um, the the bite harder tool works well. It just takes a lot of um, takes a lot of time. It's a little slower, especially you know I don't have access to the latest and greatest uh, air compressors and compressed air supply and yeah. I, even my toolings maybe not not the best for for the product they provide and you know they want to see a minimum of 10,000 rpm I believe is what it says on their their stud sharpening tool and with my little compressor it's just hard to keep up with that and and do a good job so it takes it takes sharpening uh or it makes sharpening 280 some studs take um uh, better part of a week i guess <laughs> so uh nice thing is carbide studs will stay sharp longer because they're just a little more durable but really makes an event out of sharpening them up nice thing about these is yeah okay they wear out a little faster but man they're they're uh they're good traction and and you can really zip them sharp and in, in no time and be ready to go for the weekend so just wanted to spotlight woody's um, thank Bart Harder as well for their their products. Um, yeah, if you guys got questions on studs and patterns and how I drill my tracks, you know, I, I think there's different methods on that. I'd like to do a video on on drilling and studding a track. I've I've had really good luck with the method I follow. It's it's maybe not by the book, and some of you might laugh at me, but I've never had a pull through. Um, in fact, I've, I've never had had a track come to become damaged because of studying and I'm running pretty old tracks. You know, my 600s, uh, the, the track that was in it from the factory, that track's got a lot of miles on it and it's got a lot of studs in it, but um, you know, other than some broken lugs and stuff, it's holding up real well. But anyway. I'll do a quick spotlight on how this works, zip along, sharpening these studs up and give you guys just a taste of what that looks like. This is, again, you can get that on Woody's website. And they're uh, 
in their catalog. They do a 30 degree and a 60 degree. They still uh, steal ice picks and 30 degree and 60 degree and even 45 degree. So I, I'm sure they make a 45 degree uh, sharpener as well. A lot of cool products, a lot of cool clothing. Go check out their site, Woody's Traction. Um, yeah. That's it. Just takes a couple seconds like that and a little bit of pressure. Doesn't even take, uh, take an awful lot, but puts a nice new point on them. That's that. That was 12 minutes. It took me to do, I forget exactly how many studs I got in here, but it's, uh, you know, close to 200, if not just, just over. So not too bad. Um, again, check them out. It's definitely saved me a lot of time. Yeah, you gotta have the right stud for it, but if you already do and you're running dull, grab that tool. Works really well. Thanks for watching. Shoot me a subscription. Shoot me a comment, question, thumbs up, thumbs down. Make fun of me. Don't care. Thanks for watching.